Chapter 95, The Header The Evils of Modern Day Circular Educational Pursuits The Lord will destroy all of the institutions of learning that have been established by the human race. We are admonished to seek for the kingdom of God above all else. 1. And now, behold, in the latter days Satan shall begin to use the power that he hath gained over the hearts and minds of the children of men to turn them away from the law of the Lord. 2. For behold, in those days there shall be many institutions of learning established in all the corners of the earth, and the people shall be deceived into believing that the most important thing that they can acquire for themselves is an education from one of these institutions. 3. And these institutions shall be set up to get gain by those who organize them, and seek a profit from them, for they shall not give knowledge without price. But behold, the knowledge that they shall teach shall be worthless in the kingdom of God. 4. Behold, the knowledge that shall be taught unto the students of these institutions shall be the knowledge that Satan hath given unto the world that all might know of his plan and that all might learn the things that they must do in order to make his plan successful. 5. And Satan shall promise all those who attend these institutions of learning, even these colleges, and universities, and schools, as they shall be known among you. Yea, Satan shall promise them glories and honours of men, if it so be that they abide by the requirements of these institutions, and pay the money that is required of them. 6. And in that day the wicked shall rejoice in their knowledge that they have gained from these institutions, and they shall praise each other in their accomplishments which they have obtained by attending these institutions of learning. 7. And the knowledge that shall be taught therein shall support the functions of the blessings that Satan hath given to those who follow him and keep his commandments. 8. And the children of the world shall be taught by their parents to trust in the knowledge that they shall receive therein. Behold, the children shall be given praise from their parents for the marks that they shall receive and the degrees upon which they shall set their hearts. 9. And when their hearts are set upon obtaining the glories and honours of men, then shall their righteous acts towards the poor and the sick and the inflicted, and those who are in prison because of their lack of knowledge, yea, then shall their concern for their neighbour cease. 10. And thus Satan shall again show forth his power over the children of men in fulfilling the words of John, when he spoke of the beast, and its image, and the acceptance and worshipping of this image, which is established and influenced through these institutions of learning. 11. Now, in the days of Adam there were no schools where one might go to learn the things and knowledge of the world. But all the children of Adam were taught the plan of the Father, which is that they should love one another and do unto each other what they would have done unto them. 12. And in the city of Enoch, which was the most righteous city that hath ever been upon the earth, yea, in this city there were no institutions of circular learning established among the people. 13. And these people were the most beloved and respected of all the children that God hath placed upon this earth, and they truly experienced eternal peace and happiness among them. 14. And now, I ask of ye of the latter days, yea, what good is the knowledge that is taught to you in your schools of learning? Does the knowledge that ye learn point you towards loving your neighbour and doing good unto them? Or doth it not teach you to exalt yourself above your neighbour? 15. Yea, doth it not teach you that which ye must do in order to get more gain than that which the poor and the meek receive because they do not attend these schools? 16. And what of the poor? Are not they the ones that work in your fields, and sew your clothes, and do all manner of manual labour that provideth you with a house in which to live? 17. And what have these, who are the most important people in the sustaining of your daily lives? Yea, what have they learned in your institutions? Behold, not attending your institutions causeth them to be humble before God, and work by the sweat of their own brow, which was commanded of them by the Lord.
18. Yea, these are the poor and the meek and the humble whom ye have abased because ye have lifted yourselves above them and pay them a low wage for which ye would not work. 19. And many of the poor shall desire to attend these schools, that they might also participate in the economy of the beast, and take its image upon them. But because they are poor, they shall not have the means whereby they can pay for the education that the rich have placed a value upon to get gain. 20. Behold, these institutions shall be set up to enrich those who invest in them and pay the salaries of the professors and administrators who are emissaries of Satan and share in the glory and blessings that he hath promised them. 21. Behold, these have been convinced by Satan that without an education that can only be received in an institution of learning that is set up to get gain, the image of the beast cannot be realized, neither shall the great standard of excellence that they have been deceived into thinking should be the desire of every heart come to pass. 22. Yea, these are the learned of whom the prophets have testified shall persecute the poor and the needy because of their words, or in other words, because of their lack of the education offered in these institutions. 23. And now, the Lord offereth his truth and his understanding of knowledge unto all without price. Yea, this is what was meant by Jacob when he said, Come, my brethren, every one who thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Therefore, do not spend money for that which is of no worth, nor your labor for that which cannot satisfy. 24. And now, how can your degrees and your honors and the glories of men which ye shall receive in these institutions satisfy your desires of happiness. Yea, the only desire that they shall satisfy is your lust for power, and gain according to the plan of Lucifer, and the blessings that he has promised you by following his plan. 25. Yea, even after ye have obtained all the glories of men, are ye then happy and satisfied with your lives? I say unto you that ye are not satisfied with your lives. 26. For behold, I have seen your day, and have read much concerning your great wickedness in the words that have been written by the brother of Jared. And we know that ye are not happy, for even after ye have received all these things, ye still seek for those things which Satan hath provided for you to ease the pain and misery of your souls. 27. And your children, behold, do they not use the freedom that they have away from the auspices of their parents to drink wine, and use those things which ease the pain and misery of the pressure and burden that these institutions of learning place upon them? Behold, what happiness do ye find in these things? 28. And now, of what use are many of the courses of learning that ye are required to take, in order that ye might obtain a degree, and an honour that ye might perform your duties in a profession that will never utilise any of the knowledge that ye receive from these required courses. 29. Behold, this is the desire of the rich who have set up these institutions to get gain and power over you. For behold, the more knowledge that is required of you, the more ye are forced to pay those who shall reward you with the glories and honours of men. 30. Behold, why do ye allow another to indoctrinate you and control your thinking, when that in which they have indoctrinated you shall do nothing to give unto you the peace and happiness that ye desire? 31. Behold, why do ye trust in the professors and the teachers and the educators of these accepted learning institutions among you, yet deny the power of the Holy Ghost, which could teach you all the things that ye need to find happiness and be saved in the kingdom of God? 32. Do ye not know that the prophets of old knew and understood many of the things which are much greater than the things that ye are taught in the schools of men? 33. And when the Lord Jesus Christ was upon the earth, did he attend these institutions of learning? 
yea, did he desire any of the honours and glories of men? 34. And Joseph and Christopher, who are the last prophets who shall be among you upon the earth before the coming of the Lord, what do ye think they learned in these institutions? 35. Behold, the former shall not have more than the education that is required of a young child. Yet he shall bring forth truths unto you that the world hath never known. 36. And the latter shall attend this institution of circular learning during the time of his refinement, having been influenced by Satan to follow the course of his plan. But he shall overcome the temptations of Satan, and shall mock the ways of this institution, and shall prove therein that the wisdom of man is nothing compared to the wisdom of God. 37. And it shall come to pass that when the Lord cometh upon the earth to reign during the millennium, he shall cause to be destroyed all of the institutions of learning, and all of the books contained therein that teacheth unto the children of men the lies that Satan desired them to know concerning his plan. 38. Behold, he shall teach all the inhabitants of the earth the gospel which he taught before, which taught a man that he should love his neighbor and his enemies as much as he loveth himself. 39. Yea, and upon this foundation shall the inhabitants of the earth learn all of the truths which are necessary for their salvation and eternal happiness in the kingdoms of the Father. 40. And he shall teach them the truth concerning the order and laws of nature, which shall be presented and taught in such a manner that even a young child shall understand, and be able to use the knowledge that shall be given unto him by the Lord for the sake of its own happiness. 41. And now, I have already explained unto you that only those who are celestial in their desires shall be given the knowledge and power over the elements that will allow them to create worlds and the environs that are required by these worlds in order to allow life to begin thereon. 42. Therefore, if only those who are celestial shall have this knowledge, and this knowledge shall be taught unto them by the Lord in its pure form, of what use shall it be for others to study the functions and laws of nature, when they shall be forbidden from using this knowledge in any kingdom that is not celestial, which kingdom of glory they have chosen for themselves because of their free agency? 43. Behold, during the last days, Satan shall have the ability and the power to give unto the children of men many of the powers of God, and give them a limited understanding of these powers, as I have already explained it unto you. And ye of the latter days shall see the great destruction that shall come upon the inhabitants of the earth, because of this knowledge and these powers that Satan shall be allowed by the Father to give unto them. 44. Therefore ye shall see how wicked and selfish men use these powers for their own gain, and the knowledge that they shall receive from Satan shall be taken from them during the last millennium of the earth, and shall only be given to those who are righteous, and who would use these powers for the benefit and happiness of all the children of God. 45. And thus we can see the great wisdom of God in allowing Satan to have access to these powers to incorporate into his plan in the latter days. For it shall be proven that the desire of Lucifer in the beginning to give unto all of the children of God the powers that the Father possesseth can only lead to chaos and a misery because of the selfish way in which these powers are used by those who are not celestial beings. 46. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, seek not for the knowledge of the world, for it shall not lead you down the path of righteousness, which path shall bring you the happiness that ye desire. 47. But before ye seek for knowledge, seek ye first for the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be given unto you. 48. And when ye understand the Father, and know him, then ye are at one with him and the purpose of the great atonement has been fulfilled in saving your souls from the misery that ye would have experienced by following the plan of Lucifer. 49. Behold, do not seek for an education that ye might become rich, and receive the honours and glories of men. 
For in this thing ye shall become prideful, and shall offend the Spirit of God. 50. Behold, here are more of the words of Jacob which have been given in the unsealed portion of this record, and which bring great joy to my soul. 51. For behold, the Nephites were likened to ye of the latter days, in that they had acquired many of the fine things of the world. But the Lord caused that Jacob should speak unto the people regarding these things. Therefore I would that ye of the latter days liken his words unto you. For they were written and preserved and sealed up to come forth unto you for your instruction. 52. And it is written, saying, I must tell you the truth according to the plainness of the word of God. For behold, as I inquired of the Lord, thus came the word unto me, saying, Jacob, get thou up into the temple on the morrow, and declare the word which I shall give thee unto this people. 53. And now, behold, my brethren, this is the word which I declare unto you, that many of you have begun to search for gold, and for silver, and for all manner of precious ores, in the which this land, which is a land of promise unto you, and to your seed, doth abound most plentiful. 54. And the hand of providence hath smiled upon you most pleasingly, that you have obtained many riches. And because some of you have obtained more abundantly than that of your brethren, ye are lifted up in the pride of your hearts, and wear stiff necks and high heads because of the costliness of your apparel and persecute your brethren because ye suppose that ye are better than them. 55. And now, my brethren, do ye suppose that God justifieth you in this thing? Behold, I say unto you, Nay, but he condemneth you, and if ye persist in these things, his judgments must speedily come unto you. 56. Oh, that he would show you that he can pierce you, and with one glance of his eye he can smite you to the dust. Oh, that he would rid you from this iniquity and abomination. 57. And, oh, that ye would listen unto the words of his commands, and let not this pride of your hearts destroy your souls. 58. Think of your brethren like unto yourselves and be familiar with all, and free with your substance, that they may be rich like unto you. 59. But before ye seek for riches, seek ye for the kingdom of God, and after ye have obtained a hope in Christ, ye shall obtain riches. If ye seek them, and ye will seek them for the intent to do good, to clothe the naked, and to feed the hungry, and to liberate the captive, and administer relief to the sick, and the afflicted. 60. And now, my brethren, I have spoken unto you concerning pride, and those of you who have afflicted your neighbor, and persecuted him, because ye were proud in your hearts of the things which God hath given you. What say ye of it? 61. Do ye not suppose that such things are abominable unto him who created all flesh? And the one being is as precious in his sight as the other and all flesh is of the dust, and for the self same end hath he created them, that they should keep his commandments, and glorify him for ever. 62. And now, behold, my brothers and sisters, do ye not yet understand the great words of Jacob which the Lord commanded him to give unto the people? Are they not plain enough so that ye might understand them? 63. Do ye not see that it is a hope in Christ which ye should desire above all other things upon the earth? Behold, if ye have a hope in Christ, then ye shall know Christ, and if ye know him, then ye shall know the Father by the power of the Holy Ghost, which shall give unto you all the knowledge that ye desire to make you happy. 64. Again, I say unto you, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be given unto you. End of chapter 95